Sun Partner Technologies uh, and Mohammed uh, is here who's going to walk us through what you're showcasing here. Yes, um, we are uh, developing a transparent solar cell for displays and uh, here we are showing two uh, different technologies, uh, YZIPS Reflect and YZIPS Crystal. YZIPS Reflect is for reflective uh, uh, displays and YZIPS Crystal is uh, for uh, emissive displays. Uh, we put our uh, device on top of the display and it takes part into the charging of the, the, the battery of the device. So here uh, you can see our um, device on uh, a watch with uh, a reflective display. And if we put a little bit more light on it, it gets more energy. You can read the energy <coughs> on the bottom of the, of the, of the, of the display. So can you talk, talk uh, Mohammed? Can you talk a little bit about the uh, you know efficiency of your solar yes. cell and, and uh, how here, it, it is uh, different for, from what is available out in the marketplace today? Yeah, sure. Uh, the difference uh, f uh, with uh, what is already available as solar cells for watches, for example, is uh, that our device is uh, transparent, so it keeps the aesthetic of what is behind. Yeah. So uh, the customer does not need to modify its. Uh, a product in order to be uh, uh, to have a solar cell into his uh, product. And, and uh, is the efficiency much better outside, an outdoor environment? Sure. Where yeah. Uh, sunlight is more efficient than yeah. indoor lights. Yeah. So here, for example, if we have um, one day of uh, outdoor activities, let's say, you can have up to 30 to 40 percent of uh, battery lifetime more at the end of the day. Uh, yes. That's excellent. Yes. Because we're seeing a, a, a wide adoption of LED technologies on the road signs, right, with gigantic solar cells, mm -hmm. right, and sometimes mm -hmm. you see those solar cells are not efficient or yes. they're not operating as well as you would like them to work. So yes. could this technology take part in those applications and, and address that issue? Yeah. Um, our technology is amorphous silicon based uh, technology mainly uh, and um, amorphous uh, solar cells are mastered a little bit more than uh, uh, organic solar cells. So we actually have a good mastering of the energy getting out of the solar cell right now uh, by uh, the uh, uh, by our uh, very specific uh, fabrication process. Okay, tell us a little so, bit about what you have in your hand. So there. this is the version of our technology that that goes on the um, emissive uh, display. So this is uh, a regular Qsera phone with the okay. full HD uh, display on it and we made a prototype putting our de the device on it and you can see if you put some light on it it starts charging the battery excellent excellent so here if you have um let's say three minutes of sunlight exposure you can have one minute talk time talk time yes okay. so potentially if you're uh if you're not using your cell phone and it's uh, sitting on your desk, it's still it's charging. It's still charging. It's charging. Right? So it you will, could, yes, you it will be more more charging if you are outdoor, yeah. a little bit less if you are indoor. But anytime you have sunlight or indoor light, it's charging. What an excellent concept! So, can you tell us a little bit about your experience at iZone and how? Uh, you know, um, this is, uh, helping it's you. the first time I <laughs> come to SID and iZone, so I'm a little, I'm really excited, and I have uh, very, very interesting discussions with a lot of people of other companies. I have exchanged some, some cards. Uh, it's very, really, very, really, really, very interesting, and uh, uh, I think uh, it's uh, uh, a good opportunity for our, uh, for uh, for our technology to 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 become a little bit out of uh, uh, our uh, country and uh, of, of Europe also. Okay, excellent. Mohammed, thank you very much for thank your you time today. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. And goodbye. Thank you.